everybody. My name is Paul. Welcome to my garden. Have any of you ever used this? WD-40. It's amazing stuff. It can do all sorts of different jobs. Clean your bicycle chain, uh, stop the squeaking on hinges. Once I had a lock that wouldn't turn. It was just jammed. The key would not turn. Squirted some of this into the lock and the key just turned. Just like that. Some would say, what a miracle. But that's not really a miracle, is it? I'm here to tell you about three miracles that really happened. And they happen to begin as well with WD-40 to help you remember. The W, miracle number one. If I write up the letters, you'll be able to see them as they appear. A, L, K, E, D, which spells walked. God walked on the earth. What an amazing miracle that is. I'll say it again because it's so amazing. God actually walked on the earth. Now, there were 12 people, 12 people who have walked on the moon. But one of them, a man called Jim Irwin, he said more important than man walking on the moon was that God walked on the earth. I've actually been to the Holy Land and walked on a little stony beach beside the Sea of Galilee. 2,000 years earlier, Jesus, the Son of God, walked probably on that very same beach. How amazing is that? Why did he walk on the earth? Because God loved the world so much that he sent his only Son into the world. Miracle number two, and that begins with D down here. We have D, I, E. You can probably read that. Died. The next miracle is that Jesus, the Son of God, died. He died on the cross. Why did he do that? Again, because God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son so that everyone who might believe in him would have eternal life. Sin gets in the way. We can't get to heaven with sin because God is perfect and we're full of sin and no sin can enter heaven. So God decided to send his son Jesus, take all that sin on himself and bury it with him on the cross and in the tomb to get rid of that sin. And if we believe in him, we can get to heaven because our sin has been taken away. The second miracle, Jesus walked and Jesus died for us. The third miracle over there in the corner, we've got the number 40 already. Let me add the last word. There we have it. 40 days. Jesus was buried in the tomb, but then his friends went to look at the tomb three days later. The stone had been rolled away, empty tomb. Quite amazing. They wondered where he was. But over the next 40 days, the Bible tells us, Jesus showed himself to his disciples and his friends, convincing proofs that he was alive. To his disciples, to his other friends, to up to 500 people at one time, Jesus showed himself to be alive. That's the third miracle. WD40. Help you remember. If you know Jesus already, that's a useful way to remember what God did for us. And you can be encouraged today that Jesus walked on the earth, died for you, and appeared for 40 days and now lives in heaven. If you don't know Jesus, then maybe the next time you use WD-40, it'll remind you about that. Maybe this could be the key, help turn the key to open the door to eternal life. Mm -hmm.